guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm so excited to be bringing you guys my first ever beauty video on my channel. It is what I got in a year's worth of BoxyCharm boxes. I think this video will be so beneficial for you guys that are deciding whether or not to get a subscription and I will basically just be showing you all the products that I got each month for the year of 2019. I just wanted to point out that some of the products that I received, I either used them all up already or I gave them to a friend. So the products that I let you guys know I received but don't have, I will be sure to insert a photo so you guys know what it looks like in case you want to purchase it. So without further ado, let's get right on into the video. So these are all of the palettes that I received in my year's worth of BoxyCharm boxes. These range from eyeshadows to blush to highlighters and face powders. I'm going to go through each one of these and show you. So starting out with these two Tarte palettes, these are my absolute favorite palettes. So here are the colors for both of these palettes. They are gorgeous to say the least. This is the Tarte Under the Sea palette right here, and this is the Tarte BU Naturally palette. Here is the Sassy Sienna's Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. And here are the colors inside. It even comes with a dual-ended eyeshadow brush. And this is a Butter London palette. And I really like the range of colors this palette has. Here we have the Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series eyeshadow palette. I feel like this is such a great palette if you are wanting to try different colors and come out of your comfort zone. This is the Festival palette from Pure, I think that's how you say it. This palette has a little bit of everything. It has mattes, shimmers, and glitter. This is the Ace Beauté Grandiose palette, and it is so pretty. So like I said, I love this palette. You can tell it's kind of dirty. I've also been using this Celestial Thunder palette from Dominique Cosmetics really, really frequently. I think my favorite colors in this palette are definitely Internal Light right over here. I also have used this pink color. I used this for Valentine's Day. This is the larger palettes that I've received from Suva Beauty. So here are the colors we have. I think this is really interesting because it is an eyeshadow palette. But I do think you could use these two end colors as a highlighter. Switching it up to the Cover FX palette that I received. It is the Perfector Face Palette. I really enjoy this palette for multiple reasons. Because you have a contour, finishing powder, blush, highlighters, and a brightener. This is a great, great tool to have with you if you're traveling. So you can have LMR Cosmetics colorette blush trio i was really interested in this because i do not have a blush trio three colors i'm not sure all three of these would look good on my skin tone but the great thing about blush is you can always use them as an eyeshadow i quickly wanted to jump into the rest of my eyeshadow product i have two singles right here from ace Beauté. I also have an Appeal Liquid Eyeshadow. I also have an eyeshadow stick here from Nude Sticks. And here is a Ciate London Eye Lustre Cream Eyeshadow as so well. So here are these two babies right here. This is in the shade Cotton Candy. And this is in the shade Iced Latte. So for these babies, I actually swatched them for you. So the Ciate London one is on the right. The Appeal one is in the middle. And the Nude Sticks is on the left. I thought I would do the one and only bronzer that I got, sadly, because I love bronzers, but this is the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer, and it is in the shade Sunkissed Snitch. One and here it is. It is really, really pretty. Very, very matte, for sure. Two highlighters. I got two highlighters. So this is the Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter. This consistency, I can understand why they call it jelly. It's definitely not a powder. It's kind of like the form of compacted makeup in a way. It's very soft and spongy, but you can see the packaging is very thin. So there's not much room for a lot of product. So it's very compacted. Then over here, we have the Artist Couture Highlighter. This is what it looks like. It is in the shade Purple Dream. And as you can see, it's definitely not purple, but when you put it on your face, it definitely has a purple shimmer shine undertone. Guys, so the here are the two highlighters opened. You can tell this has an odd consistency. And then this is the one that has a purple undertone. And you can definitely see it in the light. Here, I swatched them for you guys as well. The Steve Laurent is on the top. 
and the purple undertone one is on the bottom and you can definitely see it on my wrist. Moving on to powders. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is what the packaging looks like. It is a loose powder and it looks translucent to me or it could just be a really light shade. And then we have the Pretty Vulgar. This is a translucent setting powder. Mad about it, 147. I love using this to bake so much. The inside of the powders, I've been so obsessed with this Pretty Vulgar translucent powder. It has this cute little puff. I don't use the puff, but I like to keep it inside just to keep all the product in there. And like I said, this is more of a setting powder. This over here is a translucent powder. Okay guys, so we are gonna get right on into lip products. We have Bite, Mellow, Dominique Cosmetics, Dose of Colors, Tarte, Ofra, Appeal, Alamar, Oriza, Bodyography, and Steve Laurent. For all brands, you can tell these are lipsticks, obviously. Liquid lipsticks, we have glosses, and lip liners. So here is the Bite Lipstick in the shade Cotton Candy. It is the brightest, barbiest pink I've Here's ever seen. the Mellow Lipstick in the shade Danger Zone. And this is a bright red. So for lip liners, we have the Steve Laurent First in the color Chic. I went ahead and swatched that for you guys. Chic is on the right. And then we have the Bodyography in Heatherberry. And this is on the left. So this is the only liquid lipstick that I received. And it is a dose of colors in the shade Nude Mood. And I went ahead and swatched that. That is to the very left. I did get another liquid lipstick I told you guys earlier. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Monaco. This is the swatch on the very, very left. Lastly, we have five glosses here. I can tell you right off the bat, my favorite is this Tardiest Lip Gloss right here. It is a lip paint by Tarte. It is in the shade Insta Famous. This is going to be the second shade. This is a lemonade lip gloss. This is in the shade Strawberry Lemonade. This smells amazing and the packaging is so cute. This is first on my wrist. This is the Appeal Holographic Lip Gloss in the shade Posh. This is going to be third on my wrist, so it definitely has a more gold undertone to it. Then we have the Alamar Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Mother of Pearl Gloss Luna. This is fourth on my wrist, and you can't really tell, but it definitely has a lot of silver undertones Actually, to it. We have the Ariza Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Champagne Cocktail. This is gonna be the last color on my wrist. It definitely has gold and purple undertones to it as well. And we got two brow products, which is kind of fortunate because I do not do my brows. This is the Mellow Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Dark Brown. So I'll probably give these to either my mom or my sister. And then here we have the Billion Dollar Brows, the Microblade Effect Brow Pin in Dark. So now we're gonna do eyeliner. I got two gel eyeliners. This is the Pretty Vulgar The Ink in 01 Blacklist. This is the Bang Beauty Gel Eyeliner in the color Chocolate. So it is brown, which is really nice. Four pencils here. Um, two of these are black, so we have this one. This is the Jante Blue Glittering Star Eyeliner in the shade Black. I also have the Hollywood in Vine Eyeliner. It is a coal eyeliner and this is also in black. So I have another Appeal product here. This is their gel liner in Deep Taupe. So this is the last eyeliner I have. Not only is it just a really pretty eyeliner, it's green in the shade and it's number seven in case you wanted to know. This is the Style Sepia French Garden Gel Eyeliner with Diamond. This is super cool because what? But I just pulled the bottom off. It is a sharpener. Can you even? <gasps> I was ecstatic when I found out about this. Moving on to probably my favorite beauty product on the planet, which is mascara. And I actually got three, one of them. I will have to insert a photo for you. And that is just the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I love. The other one I got here is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. This is just in the shade black. And check out this packaging. 
so i also got a hank and henry mascara duo in the shade clout so this is what the wands look like and it is in the black shade in case you didn't know so the one on the right i'm pretty sure you use for your bottom lashes and the one on the left is for your top now we're gonna do face products it's a little miscellaneous here i have the one and only primer i got which i thought i would throw in here this is amazing. I use this every single time I put makeup on. It is the No Problem, I think is how you're supposed to say it, primer. And it is amazing. It is so smooth. I highly recommend this product. The next product I have is actually from this box here. This is the Coconut Water Cream. Pretty sure it's a, like a moisturizer from Hello Fab. I wanted Pretty to do my best to show you guys the consistency of this moisturizer. It looks super thick, almost like Vaseline. But once it's on your skin, it's super light. Next is another touch and soul item. This is the Prime Essence, and it is a flower extract. This took me by surprise because I actually thought this was a primer. Um, I still have yet to use it. I'm not sure how. But Next is a face oil by Wander Beauty. There is a face mask I got by this brand, which I will show you guys soon. That's amazing. But I really like this brand. And this is, like I said, it's just a illuminating face oil. This box was just way too pretty to not show you guys. This is the Kypris, I think is how you say it, Antioxidant Dew, and it is a glow serum. This is by far the most expensive product I've gotten from BoxyCharm. It is a $90 serum. It comes in the prettiest blue bottle. And these are all of the face masks that I got except for two. I actually used up two, so I will be sure to insert photos of them here. So right here, I have three of Wander Beauty's Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. This is another eye mask as well as this. This is another Wander Beauty. This is what I was telling you guys earlier. This is the Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. I love this, as you can see. I'm getting... This is the Cosmetics Detox Charcoal Mask. Also really enjoy this as well. And lastly, this mask actually came in this box down here. This is the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. Also, these are the Cover FX Glitter Drops. So I'm pretty sure you can use these all over your body as well as your face. You could probably use this as a highlighter as well, just a tad. And this is the Iconic London Prep Set Glow Water Mist Spray. You can see bubbles right now, but it's very shimmery. So brushes next. I did get one extra set of brushes that I did give to my friend, so I'll be sure to insert a picture of that here. I did notice I got a lot of eye brushes, um, quite a few face brushes. So here's the first eye brush that I got. This is from the brand Luxie, and these are so pretty so sparkly they're all gold and they're all eye brushes these two are angled and this is a regular shadow brush and this is a stipple brush also wanted to show you guys another type of luxie brush that i got these are the brushes i got the luxie 510 foundation brush which i use for <laughs> applying face masks don't judge then i got the luxie 250 large eye blending brush i love eyeshadow blending brushes with my whole heart and lastly, I got the Lexi 246 Precision Crease Brush. The next brand of brushes I got were Moda brushes. So these are both Moda brushes. This is the Powder and Soft Glow Brush Set. And this is the Five Piece Deluxe Eye Kit. And this is really cool because this is like a tear to open. So these are still sealed because I just think they look pretty that way. Here is the Moda Soft Glow Brush. And here is the Moda Powder Brush. The last brushes I want to show you guys today that I got from BoxyCharm last year. It came in this really cute pouch. And these are just blending face brushes. So this is the smaller one. And this is the bigger one. These are probably my favorite brushes that I've gotten so far. Right, guys, we're down to the last four items. These are lashes. I got these in my first ever BoxyCharm box as well. I don't wear lashes, so that's why they're still like this. I also got this body lotion. If it's not a sample size, it's just a small size because I know they sell bigger ones. This smells like coconuts and it is so amazing, so nourishing. This is a hair product. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Leave-In Mask for your And I also got an eyelash curler, which is really, really pretty from the Pure brand.